you know alzheimer disease is something that's going to involve medial temporal lobe lateral temporoparietal cortex precuneus and posterior cingulate cortex and that is where you're going to see hypermetabolism in the fdg pattern Which of the following is most likely to be demonstrated on FDG PET scan in a patient with neuropathological finding pictured below? What I'm seeing here, it's very characteristic of a neurofibrillary tangle, as we know, NFT, because it's flame-shaped and uh, it's intraneuronal, and we know NFTs are primarily intracytoplasmic, and they are made of aggregates of hyperphosphorylated tau proteins, and we know NFTs are quite specific for the diagnosis of Alzheimer disease. and they are literally asking what will be the fdg pet finding in a patient who is suffering from alzheimer disease remember in any dementia you are going to get hypermetabolism or reduced activity of a particular area of the brain which is actually involved by that particular dementia you know alzheimer disease is something that's going to involve medial temporal lobe lateral temporoparietal cortex precuneus and posterior cingulate cortex and that is where you are going to see hypermetabolism in the fdg pet that's why the right answer for this question is option d and many people know that uh, medial temporal involvement especially the entorenal cortex and hippocampal involvement in alzheimer disease is very common but very few know that involvement of the posterior cingulate cortex is very specific for the diagnosis of alzheimer disease and let us look at the other options option a states hypermetabolism of the somatosensory cortex and deep cerebral nuclei is very rare and it's not going to happen in patients with alzheimer disease in fact even if it happens it's going to be at the very very last stages of alzheimer disease so this is not the right answer option b states hypermetabolism of the occipital lobes uh, this is consistent with the diagnosis of dementia with leave bodies and not alzheimer disease and option c states hypermetabolism of the precuneus and cuneus with preservation of posterior cingulate cortex metabolism and this is again not consistent with the diagnosis of alzheimer disease because involvement of the posterior cingulate cortex is very common and very specific for the diagnosis of alzheimer disease pairing does not happen in alzheimer disease in i mean in fact this uh, relative pairing of the posterior cingulate cortex is going to be consistent with the diagnosis of dementia with leave bodies rather than alzheimer disease and this involvement of precuneus and cuneus with the relative pairing of the posterior cingulate cortex is what we call as singulate island sign a very pathognomonic sign in fdg pet for the diagnosis of dementia with leave bodies so the right answer for this question is option d subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder